It's all about the Fed. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Daily Update. We're doing this update at about uh, 1220 Eastern Time, about an hour and a half in front of the Fed. And of course, it is all about the Fed. What are they going to say? How are they going to act? And from my opinion, they're, they, no matter what they say, they're going to be wrong. Now, we're seeing a very dramatic rally uh, in the markets here today. We saw a little bit of it after a big opening. We saw a little bit of attempt to sell. But here we are with the Nasdaq of about 100, the Dow of about 300. And of course, it looks like they're going to try to push higher. Now, is this really just an oversold bounce or is this a real rally? In our opinion, we're hoping that the Fed drives this market even higher because I think we're looking for a better selling opportunity. I don't see anything has changed in the markets. I think when you get to oversold conditions, we talk about these dead cat vicious rallies. And I think that's what we're seeing. Again, to me, there is not, nothing has changed here, and the Fed is going to blow it. Is this the last chance for the Santa Claus rally coming to the end of the week? You know, we've got the Fed today and the triple witching cycle on Friday. So we could be higher. Again, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't rule out a big rally here, but we'd be, what we'd be looking for is an opportunity to sell. These vicious rallies always create buy, uh, selling opportunities. And I think that's what you have to remember. When you're in a bear market, you get these monster vicious rallies that are meant to be sold. And I can hear the Fed singing, uh, if I only had a brain, you know, we go back to the Wizard of Oz, because again, they don't understand common sense and they don't understand that you have to be able to be a little street smart and you cannot go by the book. And what they've done here is back themselves into an overall corner, giving them, us, giving them no choice. So whatever they do is going to be wrong. Now they're most likely, I will predict, they're gonna raise the quarter point I also say that they'll probably switch to a little bit more dovish language to try to accommodate the markets, which, again, makes absolutely no sense. Why, are, why is the Fed concerned about accommodating the stock market? That is not their mandate. That's not what they're supposed to be concerned about. But for some reason, we had Alan Greenspan in the 80s starting to worry about the markets first. And, of course, he was the master bubble builder, and it's been carrying through. And I thought before the most recent action that Chair Paul would actually set things right. Because again, if you listen to the pundits, you look at the experts about the interest rates, why is the market so dependent on interest rates? Why is the market not dependent on price discovery and whether or not we have strength? So these are the, the issues that we continue to look at. And of course, this just shows how, how lack of, of, of a feel that the Fed actually has for true price discovery and free markets. In the meantime, we're railing, and I'm not going to say that we can't go higher. I will be looking for opportunities to sell this, and hopefully it'll be one monster big spike rally up because I think that will, will create a great selling opportunity. In the meantime, we're seeing bonds, treasury bonds, continuing to rally higher. Now, again, if everything was so great, why are the bonds going straight up? All right, this is a sign of fear. Dollar's a little bit weaker. Gold is stronger. Again, I don't put gold in the fear asset class, but many do. So why is the hard asset of gold continuing to rally? Of course, we're looking for 1275, so we're not surprised that it's rallying. But again, I ask you the same question is typically that is more considered a fear asset and it is going higher. Uh, you look at oil. Oil has struggled once again. It's slightly higher today. But again, after 7% down day, you would expect to see a bounce. And it would be no surprise if oil got back to 50. But at the end of the day, I think we're, we may we have a chance to see the high 30s. I think you've got to watch the 45 level on the way down, but I think we've got a good shot to get into the high 30s first quarter next year. Grains are under a little pressure t today. And again, everybody who always says, well, the dollar is too strong. Well, the dollar is weaker. Why are the dollar-dominated co commodities lower as well? So again, there's, there's always these, these things we have to look at. In the meantime, meats are mixed. We're looking for the same thing. Nothing has changed in our overview. We're selling rallies. We're looking for dips to buy in grains. We're looking for dips to buy in meats. We're looking to be a buyer of gold down on support. We're looking for 1275. We're a seller of oil. And really, that's really the way everything looks. Nothing has changed because we've got a 300-point rally. Again, I think we get too overexcited about one-day moves. And, and one day, to me, again, this is creating another great selling opportunity, and this will fail. The question is, where will it fail for? Where will it fail from? So to me, it's to say to you, 
Don't get too excited. Don't try to pull the trigger too early. Wait. And remember, if you miss a trade, so what? It's better to wish you were in that trade than you weren't. So relax and look for your opportunities. In the meantime, the Fed will announce and we'll get some movement out of the market. Off of that, there'll probably be three moves. Okay, There'll be a spike, whichever way the street interprets it. There will be a recovery or a sell-off, depending on which way it goes. And then the third move will be the move that you want to watch. And that is typically what happens in the Fed. And look for some early movement right before the numbers come out in gold and in a currency, because those will give you some ideas of what's going on. In the meantime, the cryptos are a little bit higher today. It looks like they may have found a base or a bottom, but we're not looking for Bitcoin to back, go back to 20,000 tomorrow. We are looking for a sub solid support level and look for a steady rally. Remember, sharp rallies and sharp sell-offs are usually met with either sellers or buyers. And what we want to see is a gradual grind higher in the cryptocurrencies. That will give us the best idea. In the meantime, uh, we'll see how it all plays out and we'll be back tomorrow on Thursday. This is Bubba's Daily Update, Todd Bubba Horowitz. Remember, if you'd like to get my the free book from my friend Adam Barada, Gold is a Better Way, go to BubbaTrading.com forward slash gold. And of course, if you'd like to help us out with our high school investing program, go to Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com forward slash Bubba Trading. That's Patreon.com forward slash Bubba Trading. In the meantime, have a great day. Be careful. Look for a rally to sell. Bubba's Daily Update. We'll see you tomorrow.